Good morning and welcome to another day of quarantine and that pretty much means that we are going to keep looking at the modules that um, haven't actually been on any sort of free trial before and uh, we took a bit of a gander at combined arms and while I do like combined arms, I must say that um, after trying a mission with it, I would just, you know, use it as a plaything in case I'm hosting a mission or something like that. Or maybe sit as a JTAC or whatever. Either way, uh, we are today going to take a look on a training bird that I have been wanting to take a look on for quite some time and that would be the C101. Now this is uh, like the uh, F5 and the F86. This plane has a direct counterpart on the Red 4. So you, the F5 has the MiG-21 as its counterpart the F-86 has the MiG-15 as the counterpart, and this plane's counterpart is the wonderful module that is the L-39. So, while I favor the simulation of the Western Birds, for example, I like the F-5 more than MiG-21, even though the MiG-21 is a fantastic simulation, um, this is gonna, it's gonna be some hard shoes to fill. Because I got recommended the L-39 by a friend of mine. And he was completely right in that it was one of the best flying experiences in DCS. So, we're gonna see how this thing goes. Now, this is a Spanish aircraft. And for some reason they have decided that they too want the entire thing of using wheel brakes. To steer on the runway. Now this is of course very annoying, but we'll make do. Ready? Full speed. Now we do have a bit of an overloaded plane here. We have it on a full cast loadout with bombs and rockets and we do have some targets up at Cheerbug that we are going to try and take out and it does l l look like the airfield doesn't really like the uh, airfield all that much and I do must say I don't l uh, really like the sound it sounds like a sewing machine mixed with some kind of weird propeller so lift off we're gonna have to make that careful. We remove the drag by the wheels. Check so our back seater is still back there. So far so good, but we we still need to gain some more altitude. The C101 is not a powerhouse in any stretch of the imagination. It is a slow moving uh, well, it is a trainer. It's not really meant to carry the load that we put on it, and for some reason it can even carry the Sea Eagle missile, which I really wish I had loaded on this plane, just because I think it would be hilarious to try. Then again, I don't really know how to fire it, so that might actually have been a waste of effort. So, we are gonna be... Uh, Retracting our flaps now. And we immediately get the stall warning. I mean, I have the engine at full. And uh, I, I suspect my plane is somewhat overloaded. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me one bit to hear that the plane is somewhat overloaded. So we need to be careful of our trim here. And keep the plane on somewhat of a level flight while still gaining altitude. Alright, so we have managed to gain some altitude. I have, must admit that while it's a slow process in the start, once you get it going, it's actually a bit of a nice little workhorse we got there. 
Now, then ahead we have the port of Cheerburg, which has targets for us in the by the name of ships. So, first of all, Master Arm is on, and we have the weapons panel right here. A little bit uh, out of the way here. So we have here also the uh, sight, which is very rud rudimentary. And we have the cannon here that we can shift for the different positions. But the first thing we are going to do is we're going to check our inner pylons, which carry bombs. So we are going to be arming them and setting mode bomb. We do, however, have a visual on at least two flyers in the area, so it might be that we actually switch to the Sidewinder missiles. And just like many other planes from uh, this era, you select the individual pylons and then the system is going to compensate for it. So we have two helicopters right ahead of us, and I know they're helicopters because well, I added them into the mission, so I would know what the hell I added into the mission, wouldn't I? So these will be our test beds for firing the Sidewinder, and in regards to dogfighting capabilities, I would really like to see an C-101 versus the L-39, but I would actually give the combat advantage to the um, C-101. Because it can carry more modern forms of the Sidewinder. And while I really adore the uh, R60 that the L49 can carry, I would argue that the Sidewinder is the better all round missile. The R60 is more of a self defense knife fighting weapon. Like I said, I really like that missile, but it's not a missile I would use as the primary weapon if I had nothing. If I had a good arm, something better. And the L-39 can't load with something better. And the C-101 actually can. And the C-101 also can carry more weapons. So we're taking flak fire from the port of Cheerburg here. We're gonna see if we can... I think we're coming up on them from the front. They're firing at us! Holy shit, they're firing at us! The Apache helicopters just fired at us. Uh, we still have maneuverability, a bait limited one, and we do seem to have... <laughs> we lost our nose, we lost our elevators. We still seem to be able to elevate, so I, I don't think much of the damage model. Because so far, it seems like we haven't actually been shot down. We've just been heavily damaged by the nose cannon of a Apache. So, let's... I don't know if I'm actually losing power. By any... By everything that's right, I should be. I still hear the missile growl, but I don't seem to be able to f actually... Oh, wait. It's still set on bombs. That might be the reason why. Now... I can't fire it. We have lost all cockpit electronics systems. And the ships down there are mocking us by firing at us. So let's mock them back. I'm going to crash right into you. You don't have a SAM system. Woo! Meanwhile, our wingman is just at the ground like, yeah, that guy was a fucking moron. So, we are now back over Cheerburg, and I think it's time for us to employ some nice and fun weapons here. So, there is a procedure to it, but it's not really a complex one by any stretch of the imagination. So, you turn on the sight, 
we turn on monster arm, we select our bombs, we go for bombs, and we can also turn on the AA mode for the gun. Though, uh, the backseater there looks awfully terrified about flying with me dropping bombs, but I can assure him this is going to be perfectly safe. So, there are a couple of ships in the harbor that are our primary target for this thing, and we are going to make sure that we employ our weapons correctly. Now, this thing is important, remember this. What I'm doing now is flipping up the safety for the gun sight, but that's just a trigger. So you have to flip up this thing as well, so you can employ the stores. This is very important, and I'm going to admit that there is a like 20 minute sequence of me failing to understand that. So now that I've learned that lesson horribly, it's time for you to learn it as well, and you learn it from my mistakes. It's always better to learn from others' mistakes than your own, because then you look like a pro. So, we are going in, we are going to drop some bombs on that ship down there, we are going to be making sure we do not get hit by the Bowfall's fire. Bombs are away. Ah, they fell short. I can live with that. So, we are going to switch to rockets. And... Doing so is very simple, it's basically just the same thing, only you switch from bombs to ROC. And then you of course switch the hardpoint. So the stall, stall warning system doesn't seem to like me very much. So we scored several hits on the second ship, and that means it's time to take our vengeance on those helicopters. So we're gonna switch to NC, and we are gonna switch to the outer outer hard points. Now, of course the Sidewinder is uh, going to try and tell us to fire at the sun, because the sun is very hot. And uh, But we don't want to waste a Sidewinder at the sun. So before we start our attack run on the helicopters, we are going to steer away from Sheerburg Harbor, so that the uh, ships doesn't interfere in this next operation more than they already are. So the enemy helicopters seems to be ready for our approach, which means that we should be trying to steer clear of them, since we have the Sidewinder, which is a um, standoff weapon. We should not be flying into their absolute gun range, because they, then they're just going to wreck us with their 30 millimeters. So we're just going to... Now that uh, they seem to have uh, abandoned their little struggle, one of the nice things about a flat wing is that the turn rate is much better than you could otherwise expect. Box tube. Let's see if that gives us the vengeance we seek. I didn't actually wait for a proper lock, but sometimes, yeah, sometimes you don't actually have to. The missile will be tracking on its own. So, god damn it. Too close, too close. Box two. Evasive now. That missile is not tracking. I'm not going to bother engaging that helicopter with guns. I already know what's going to happen if we try that. Then again, we have a bit of a lighter aircraft right now, so it's, it should, it might actually be fun to try, but I think it should be more fun to see me fail at a landing instead. Might as well steal the uh, airfield that the enemy helicopters took off from. So, uh, Normandy is not really filled with a bunch of uh, airstrips, so actually let's strafe it first, let's just, let's do that. Gun to air to ground mode, we are securing our stools, we are rolling in on the uh, center line of barracks. The gun is very simple, but one thing I do enjoy is that there's an ammunition counter in the 
corner here, which is going to be telling us how much ammunition we got left. Now, the gun only has 150 rounds, so it's not much by any stretch of the imagination. I have to say, um, uh, my feelings on this plane is a little bit mixed. Now that I got my feel for it, I like it a bit more than I did previously. But it still doesn't feel like anything special, and that, I feel, is the main concern. At least right now. Gears down, flaps down. So let's land at the aircraft with airfield we just strafed and see how happy they are to see us. Now landing the L-39 is a pretty straightforward matter that usually involves, you know, actual airmanship. But we're gonna see how it goes with the uh, C-101, if we can take her down properly or not. Then again, my landings are usually controlled crash landings, so I expect a liberal use of air brakes here, yeah. or wheel brakes if the air variety is not available. It wouldn't surprise me if the air variety wasn't available. So we're going to be giving it a little bit of speed to try and make sure we do not touch go. We should be touching the ground already. I might have come in a bit too fast. And if so, it might also be that the airstrip itself is simply too big. So we're going to do a bit of a power slide to... Uh... Actually, I'm a bit surprised. This air, if this airplane is seems to be rather durable. That was not a good landing by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, we're, on, we're on the ground. So uh, we're just going to taxi away to the hangar, and then we're going to wrap this up. Now, I'm going to say that the C-101 is actually a bit surprising. It's, it's always been like that plane I've always considered buying, but after I got the L-39, I never really saw much reason as to why I should get it, and I'm not sure I've changed my opinion about it. Now, of course, I might... might um, I mean... If I have the L-39, I'd much rather learn to fly the L-39 properly rather than add another module that's just going to compete for the already limited time I give the L-39. So, it's not like the other dueling birds. Like, if you have the F-5, the MiG-21 is still actually worth getting because it's a wholly different experience. But it's more like the MiG-15 and the F-89 Sabre, where getting one or the other is the preferable way to do it. So we're gonna pop open the canopy. Apparently we didn't... There we go. So stand still. And I would say that if you haven't actually tried out the L-39, I would probably consider... The C-101 is probably a nice thing to have. But if you have the L-39, I'm not sure the C-101 is um, worth your time. Like I said, dueling aircraft. 